Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vinny Potestivo, and yes, welcome to yet another exciting episode of The Casting Room, the place where I get to do all of my work. This is where the magic happens. We were going over questions this week, and one question really stood out. How do you build a career in the entertainment industry? And I love that question because it takes many, many gigs, many, many bookings, and many, many jobs to build um, a career. I recently got to sit down with Orfe, who uh, was a pop princess turned Tony-nominated Broadway star, um, who actually is the queen of voiceover, if you ask me in my opinion, uh, about what it takes to, to build a career. Check this out. You wanna do a little slate? In three, two. Hi, I'm Orfe, proud and native New Yorker. I uh, started in the recording business with a group called Orrin Moore. We had a number one club single, and I wound up in musical theater. And I've been doing Broadway for the past, uh, it's going on 14 years. There's no guarantee. You know, I have a Tony nomination. It hasn't really changed the course of my career. There's always gonna be someone who's like, well, I don't really know her work, or I know her just as this. And you're always gonna to have to prove yourself, especially with musical theater. You never know if that show is gonna be a hit and run forever. Voiceovers are very, very, very difficult. They really are, I'm not gonna lie or sugarcoat it. That's, that's 17 auditions a day. It becomes a numbers game. You know, the more auditions you have, the more of a chance you have to finally land a big account. A person with the wrong personality and mentality for that sort of thing, who's not patient, who is like, oh, you know, that person's not gonna be a big voiceover person because there is a lot of micromanagement in that world and many, many, many people have to be pleased and then there's one person who can blink at the end and be like, nope, don't want him. Nope, it's all wrong, we're going in a different direction. If you do your best, chances are those people are gonna see you again because they know at least you've given a really great audition and you're competent to come in and not waste their time. If I was poo-pooing that and thinking, no, but I'm just a musical theater actress and this is beneath me, you cannot think that anything, unless it's truly beneath you, you know, it's something that you would not be able to go to sleep at night thinking that you're okay doing, how, how glorious is it that someone came and discovered me for voiceovers because that's been my bread and butter for over a decade. See, I wouldn't steer you wrong. Now, if you want to have a solid career in the entertainment industry, three things to keep in mind. You've got to be networking, you have got to be auditioning, and you've got to take those gigs that come your way, no matter what size they are. As long as you're proud of that work, be out there and be loud, and great luck. Uh, I can't wait to work with you guys. Of course, send your questions in to me here on Twitter. I'm at Yo It's Vinny, or on Facebook, you can find us at VPE Talent. I'll talk to you later. Hi, I'm Siggy Flicker, and you're watching VPE TV.